Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Subscriber Duels. It's me, Cooper, and today I'm bringing out a brand new deck. And this brand new deck, for those of you have, that have been a long-time fans of the series, um, is an improvement on an old deck I used in the first Subscriber Duel series that we did in Dueling Nexus. So if any of you have watched my Dueling Nexus series, then you'll know that um, it's a deck I've actually used before, but improved. And as you can see, I got a pretty good hand for it. So this improvement is going to be showing off right quick. So first things first, I'm going to summon good old Uni Zombie. Then we're going to activate our effect and we're going to throw away a different zombie in order to increase my level. So let's go ahead and throw away. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have something to stop me? All right, maybe you don't. Uh, let's go ahead and throw away. Usually it would be Mizuki, but in this case, I'm going to need a level 3 monster on the field. Hmm. I guess I do have one in my hand, so I could still use Mizuki. There we go. And then I'm going to activate good old Uni Zombie again. Target one face-up card. There we go. Let's see if you have a problem with that. I don't know how Xander's able to stop my stuff on my turn, but they have the ability. And we're going to discard this card. Then we're going to activate our effect of Mizuki. So Mizuki's going to go away. And then we're going to go ahead and summon our Bone Tower. Now Bone Tower normally is the idea for this duel, but um, it won't be this time because I actually have a monster that's level 8 Synchro that we got very early in the Master Duel series. Um, I don't really use it, but I have a couple. Um, we got these cards very early in the Master Duel series, so I wouldn't mind showing it off, seeing if it uh, does a good job. So we're going to summon this Chaos King card. Yeah, it's got 3,000 attack. It's pretty strong. It throws away cards, which is good for my zombie deck. Uh, we'll see if it actually works out, though, because Xander keeps trying to stop me. Or not. Okay, Parameteral is going to the grave. Red-Eye Zombie Dragon might go to my hand. That card's going to the grave. Mizuki's going to the grave. Perfect. And Bone Tower's going to my hand. Or I could just throw them all to the grave. I think... Um... If all of those, I would actually prefer them in the grave. Alright, and now that they're all in the grave, I feel better. <laughs> well, let's see how this duel goes, everybody. Obviously, we don't know what Xander does. Maybe this plays into Xander's plan. Maybe Xander likes to throw stuff away and blow me up. We don't even know. But I hope, I wish you luck, subscriber Xander, and I want to thank you for being a subs uh, subscriber. This new deck, I called it Haunted Mansion. Um, Harpy's Feather Duster is a jerk move. I don't, really, I don't know if I'm willing to pay 4,000 life points to stop it, though, so I'm just going to let it happen. Hopefully, I don't lose the duel in one turn because of that. It, it could happen. You never know. Some of these duelists are pretty scary. Something called... Ooh, a dinosaur deck. That's a dinosaur. If a dinosaur monster is normal or special summon... Oh, I didn't get my zombie world, so I'm not able to co counter this. This is going to suck. Uh, send one Drac Egg to your opponent's field in defense position. While your opponent controls a token, they cannot target monsters on the field with card effects, except tokens. Once per turn, if a normal monster on the field would be destroyed by battle or card effect, um... Let's see, you could destroy that many dinosaur monsters in your hand or deck instead. Interesting. Very interesting. So it looks like my zombie deck will be going up against a dino deck, and unluckily, I did not get a monster. Uh, I mean, I did not get Zombie World, so I can't stop a lot of this. But it's okay. And those of you that are curious, I pulled three zombie worlds from the packs, and I pulled uh, I had one terraforming. So that's pretty nice. Oh wow. That was baby source. And now they got two dinos in the graveyard. If they have a non-dino, we're in trouble. Baby Source is gonna bring out another one. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be miscellaneous, because I actually have my own ultimate tyranno deck, and I've seen that work. Oh no, this is new. Scrap Raptor. I have no idea what this is. All right, it's a tuner. Oh, there it is. She, they are, I mean, sorry, not miscellaneous. It was over raptor. That's what I meant. No, they already had an over raptor, so they didn't have to worry about this. And they're gonna put that ultimate tyranno in their hands, the one that flips things face down. I can already feel it. I can already sense it. Go ahead, Xander. Show me what you got. Oh, this is gonna go terribly, guys. This first hand from Xander is already terrifying. Oh, wait, do they already have Ultimate Tyrant? No, they have Ultra Evolution Pill in their hand. But everything's Dinosaur right now, so what's your other effect? Alright, so you destroy a card, and then what? Search some one Dinosaur Monster from your graveyard in defense position. Um, what is... Oh, because you're going for a Synchro Summon, of course. 
Got it. Oh, wait, this card also has an effect. Okay, what do you do? It destroys itself, so I was wrong. And by destroying itself, you can add one scrap factor or one non-tuner scrap monster from your deck to your hand. Is that a non... Ah, there it is. Ultra Evolution Pill works with Scrap Chimera. All right. Because that thing is not a... Uh, what, what do you call it? Oh, what do you call it? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what it is. It's a beast. It's, as long as it's not a dino, it could be used with Ultra Evolution Pill. Alright, so if they were to summon Scrap Dragon right now, that would be kind of scary. Uh, but instead, they're going to Link Summon. Okay, so Xander's got other cards. That makes sense. We have Scrap Wyvern. Not a very powerful card, but I'm sure it has a good effect. Oh, okay. You destroy another card you control like Scrap Raptor. And then the loop continues. I get it. I get it. So, Scrap Wyvern, what are you going to do now? You have two effects. And now you brought out Scrap Golem. Oh, my monster! That's a jerk move. What did my monster ever do to you? Okay, this is starting to look like one of them FTKs. Not even going to joke. Um, I'm horrified right now. Starting with Harpy's Feather Duster to stop Solemn Judgment was pretty, pretty brutal. But uh, let's just hope for the best. And Zoma Spirit would not have saved me here, because if I used Soul and Judgment to stop the Harpy Spire Duster, I would have only had 4,000 life points left. Alright, we got another Link Summon. Hold up, Xander. What else do you got? We have something called Pentastag. Okay. And now it's time for Ultra Evolution Pill. I guess you got other cards in the grave now. You don't even have to use your Chimera, right? Yeah, there we go. And then Giant Rex is going to get summoned on top of that. Well, hello there, Ultimate Conductor. How you doing? That's a card from my dino deck. Remember when we pulled one of those, everybody? And Giant Rex. I even have that card in my in my uh, dino deck now. It's been improved upon. So, let's see what they got. Oh, they're not done yet. We got a Synchro Shokun. Let's see what Synchro Monster they're thinking about. Was I right about Scrap Dragon? Oh, no, that thing. I fought that thing with other opponents. That thing's annoying. Yeah, can negate activations. That's why it's like, damn, that card's actually pretty good. So that means even if I did have another turn, Monster of Born would kill me. Interesting to attack with that. Alright, take my damage. Bring him on. I already knew. I, I understand, Xander. I understand. Go ahead. And... Amazing. Oh, you could have done exact damage with, with Giant Rex. But either way, amazing first turn from Xander. Literally a perfect hand and a really good execution of it. Let's go ahead and say, how about another duel? I only got one turn, so I feel bad because I didn't even get to do anything. But hopefully in this next duel, we'll get another one. Like, maybe we'll get two turns. Uh, Xander? You Okay. You gotta press the begin duel button, people. Oh, nope, okay, leaving the table usually means that they like to switch decks. I don't blame them. If they can FTK with that deck, maybe they're gonna go... No, you know what? They're probably not gonna go easier. I can already feel it in my heart. Just watch. Watch, everybody. Now, let's see what we can do. Now, this duel, I'm gonna go second. Okay, so I can't stop anything if I'm going second. But last duel, I got unlucky with the Harpy's Feather. Oh, I'm going first, okay. Last two I got unlucky with the Harpy's Feather Duster. Maybe this time they won't have it, and I'll still get Solemn Judgment. Or I'll get a different combo off with my hand. So let's see. Ah, a bunch of fun stuff here. Not really any combos that I would prefer to use. I didn't start with any of my combo cards. Uh, I'm just going to set Pyramid Turtle. I got unlucky there. I have eight monsters in my... No, nine monsters in my deck that can combo off each other, and I got zero of them. I got the cards that are used for later, but it's okay. I'm sure we'll be all right. Right? There's no way it's in, our fi it's in our 15 extra deck. I should expect death. Immediate death. Oh, this one has a lot of cards in it. 53 card deck, and it is a pendulum deck. Okay, pendulum deck. That's going to change things up a little bit. I fought a couple pendulum decks in my time, but we'll see what this one's all about. Okay. 
I don't really feel like reading these. They look like they have long... Yeah, pendulums always have long effects because they technically have two effects. So no way in hell do I feel like reading them. Star pendulum graph. Something about magicians. Pot of desires. Okay. Throwing away a lot of cards. I guess you do have a big deck, so it doesn't really matter if you throw away a lot of cards. You're down to about a normal-sized deck now, just like me. And let's see here. We got Purple Poison Magician. And we got Supreme King Gate. Supreme King Gate, like... Su no, it's not the Supreme King I'm thinking of, is it? What the hell is... How is there up to 13? That's crazy. There's a Pendulum rank up to 13. That's that's actually way too much. That's, that's like, way, way too much. So, let's see. We got... Harmonizing Magician with that thing. I don't even know what that is. With that thing. Anything else? Okay, we got three monsters. Okay, so you have to destroy up to two cards. Or, uh, yeah, okay, so you're going to destroy your pendulums. I'm guessing by doing that you get a different effect. Yep, there we go. Okay... I'm a little confused. What's, I, I obviously don't want to read all this, so I'm a little confused what's going on here. Um, oh, this one's a tuner. Okay, I see. This one's a tuner monster. This with this will make a level 8 synchro monster. Got it. And then this is something else. Okay. Damn, this is the second duel I fought Xander, and they summoned like five monsters in one turn. That's a horrifying opponent right there. So, Xander, what are you going to do with all these cards? You started with 53 cards in your deck. You're already down to 36, and the first turn hasn't even ended yet. That's horrifying. Plus, you haven't even touched your extra deck yet. You're going to. I know you are. But uh, that is a horrifying situation. So, let's see. Spellcaster, Spellcaster. What do two Synchro... Or, sorry. What is a Synchro Spellcaster monster that they might summon? I don't know 5Ds well enough, so I don't think I'm going to be able to figure it out, but... Hmm... I know Stardust Dragon's level 8. You can make that. You feeling like making that? Nope, you're going to Link Summon. Okay. So that's how we're starting today's duels with a Link Summon. And this time we're going to summon something... Ah, that's a long name. What is that? Heavy Metal Foes El Electromite. Okay. Draw one card. You can only use this once per turn. Gotcha. Okay. Very confused by this, honestly. And Wisdom Eye Magician. Again, don't feel like reading. Pendulums have the longest effects in the game. I honestly don't want to read them all. So, Xander, what else are you going to do? Because literally, I just started to do with Pyramid Turtle. My hand was not the best. I was just like, okay, I set this card and my turn. And your turn's been going on for about, what, a good five minutes now? So Xander's obviously part of the new Yu-Gi-Oh wave. I call it the horror, Horrid Wave. Now, it's not so bad that I'm going to pull out the Pokemon Yellow. We're not at that point yet. Once we hit the 10-minute mark, then I'm going to pull out Pokemon Yellow. Plus, I, only, I don't think I need to pull out Pokemon Yellow because this, this duel seems like it's going to be another one that ends extremely quickly. Because Pyramid Turtle, once it gets destroyed by effect, it's, I'm done. I, I got nothing. But maybe... But maybe they won't destroy me by effect. Maybe they'll leave my Pyramid Turtle alone. Okay, well now we... Oh, okay, we finally got to the Synchro Summon. Let's see what it is. It is a level 8. Enlightenment Paladin. That's new. Is this like Dark Paladin but light? I don't know. This is Dark Monster 2. Okay. Uh, once per turn, when this card destroys the opponent's monster by battle, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. Oh, that's not even too bad then. You probably had a better feel when you just had five monsters out. Because all these monsters don't matter. I'm just going to pyramid... I'll take the 1200 berm. I'm just going to pyramid turtle a pyramid turtle. And just keep myself in this. Alright. Just going to pyramid turtle a pyramid turtle. All right, where are you, Pyramid Turtle? There you are. Just put you all face up. Make me happy. There we go. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> I take the burn. And now I shall Pyramid Turtle a Pyramid Turtle. Because I do not wish to die. All right. There we go again. Again. 
And this time I'm going to Pyramid Turtle. Now I know there's way better options. Like I should obviously go for Uni Zombie, but I'm not going to. Because screw it. I'm just gonna summon my bone tower. I like the bone tower. This is the card from my time period that I built the deck around. All these newer cards are just cards that uh I I, I used with the new cards I got from the zombie pack. Because there was a zombie pack that I unlocked. When I was getting solves over in Bone Tower. Alright, now let's see. I got... Ooh, and I just pulled Uni Zombie, so who needs it? Let's see if they have a card to stop my Uni Zombie from doing the thing I need it to do. I summon the Uni Zombie. Oh, they definitely do, because they already act can activate an effect. It could be any of these guys' effects, I just don't want to read. Let's see, quick effect, you can banish this card, special summon one tuner. Okay, that's what it is. Special summon one tuner, sacred monster from your extra deck. Okay. Well, before you do that, let me do this. I'm going to just throw away a card. I'm going to increase my level, as I always do. I'm going to throw away a bone-absorbing tower of, of sorts. Then I'm going to activate the Book of Life. And with the Book of Life, I'm going to try and get back my bone tower if my opponent doesn't have a way to stop this. And by doing this, I'm going to throw away... I don't know which one's more important. I'm just going to throw away this one. And I get my Bone Tower back. This is another duel where I didn't start the duel with Zombie World. I swear, I, I do get it more often. Because I used this deck in Ranked. And it was uh, I do get Zombie World more often than not. Alright, then I'm going to activate Uni Zombie once again. We're going to go ahead and target ourselves once again. Or no, you know what? No, I'm going to target uh, Bone Tower. Screw it. I'm going to target Bone Tower. Then I'm going to go ahead and throw away Mizuki. From my hand. Then I'm going to activate Mizuki's effect. And with Mizuki's effect, I'm going to bring back a Pyramid Turtle. Nothing scary, just a good old turtle. Alright. Then, we're going to activate our effects, because we got to. Here we go. i throw away some more cards from your deck. Now, you have a very big deck, so I'm going to have to just get lucky with what I throw away. Um, I could Synchro Summon. I could attack with Pyramid Turtle. I'm going to... If I were to Synchro Summon, what monster could I make? Crimson Blader would actually be pretty helpful. It wouldn't stop Link Summons, but it could stop other types of summons. Um... Let's see, this Chaos Dragon could throw away some cards for me again. That would be kind of nice. That would be kind of nice. But it's not a Dragon Special Summon. I could go for the Link Summon. I honestly could. Um, you know what? I'm a, I'm a, little, I'm a little confused on what I really want to do. Uh, you know what? I'll just summon this guy for fun. Uh, huh? Let's get rid of Pyramid Turtle. Now, this is another one we pulled from the pack, so let's go ahead and see what we can get. I'm gonna go summon this guy. He's pretty strong. Alright, and since he's a zombie, I could throw away some more cards. If I wanted to throw away a lot more cards, I would have I would have summoned the Link Monster, because I also got that from uh, the one thing. And now we're gonna go ahead and throw away Uni Zombie. There we go. Let's see if this guy has anything to say about it. So first things first, I get to increase my attack. We throw this away. We throw this away. And now I'm expecting a link. Or, I mean, a synchro summon from this guy, right? No? Okay. So quick effects. Uh, during my battle phase, you can banish this card. You control special summon one tuner synchro monster from your extra deck. Hmm. Alright, so he's probably going to pick the one that lets you draw cards. Which means I'm going to attack... Okay, maybe I'll read your effect for once. If you... Wait. If this card is special summon, you can target yada yada yada. Okay, so that's already happened. This card is the threat. I attack this one. Unless these cards have effects I don't... I should have read. Oh, okay. He's a dark spellcaster. I should have read it. I just... I just read that. But you know what? I was still stronger than it, luckily. So that worked out in the end. And I guess I'll just end my turn. I had my fun. 
Now, sadly, since I didn't get Zombie World, I can't do anything. Like, without Zombie World, when my opponent does Pendulum Summons and all that, I normally would be able to throw away their deck. But in this case, I can't because I didn't draw my Zombie World, sadly. Or my Terraforming. But it's okay. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe they'll just happen to have a zombie in their deck. If not, we're in trouble. Because there's no way my Shirai Nui Shogun Saga, whoever this guy is, there's no way he's staying on the field. Ooh, that card could do double ba battle damage. This card's... Okay, double Iris Magician is scary. That's a pendulum effect, though, so I guess he won't get that one. If this card destroyed by battle or card effect, you can add one pendulum graph card to your deck. Okay. So they could summon one levels two to seven monsters right now. That does sound kind of scary. Oh, hello there. You're new. This guy has summoning animation, so I assume he does something annoying. Oh, boy. My opponent has six monsters on the field. That is horrifying. And all I got are some Bone Towers and some Swordsman Guy. And I just gotta hope that he uh, that they don't have a way to pop them. Or, bo or bounce them, or, you know, the million of thing a million effects monsters can do. So, Xander, what are you gonna do? Because if you don't pop or ban or uh, negate my effects, these guys will stay alive. This guy will die. There's nothing I can do about that. This man's dead. Alright, his 3,000 attack is all I can believe in right now. Okay, those went back to the extra deck for some reason. Oh, because they confusion summon without polymerization. Supreme King Dragon. Alright, once per turn, you can target one monster on the field or in the graveyard. Until the end phase, this card's name becomes that monster's original name. Replace the effect with the monster's original effect. Also, your, or the rest of this turn, your monster's attacks, defense, special monster, inflict piercing damage. So, that would work if they can pop or bounce one of these cards. Or can negate these cards' effects. So, let's just hope that doesn't happen. And somehow he's targeting the Link Monster in the graveyard. Okay. I'm guessing one of these cards... Oh, because it... Oh, he targeted that card. So now he could draw one card, right? If this card is Link Summon, you can have one... You can target one other battle. Okay, so he's just barely stronger than my Swordsman card, and that's fine. I can, I can accept that. I'll take that hit. And then I use my guy to bring back my Uni Zombie, so he's not gone forever. And then, does he start to realize that he can't attack me? Did he not read my... I know Soul Absorbing Bone Tower is a very old card, so some people don't read it. Okay, good. But I'm sure they know about it, because it's not... It's not... Uh, I mean, it's really old, but come on. I draw. Monster Reborn. That could have been... A, I mean, that could be a really good draw, honestly. I activate Monster Reborn. And everyone at home, wish me luck. <sighs> Choices. Honestly, Uni Zombie is probably the best choice here. Probably the best choice. So I'm going to go with Uni Zombie. Yeah, something that can stop a monster reborn? I hope not. Just in case something messes up. I mean, this guy does piercing anyway, but my job is to get Uni Zombie off the field. So I summon Uni Zombie and I throw away some of your cards. There's no way I'm beating Xander by battle, so maybe I can beat him by deck out, despite the 53 card deck. It's like Xander saw my Soul, soul Absorbing Bone Tower and switched to a deck with a bunch of cards. Oh, they run Royal Decree. Good thing I rarely, I, I barely run any trap cards in this deck. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and use this card. Um, no. Oh, you know what? I, I messed, I did this in the wrong order. I was supposed to do it in a different order. Well, whatever. I'm gonna increase my level by one. If that's okay with you. I think this card is... I mean, I think the card that he's trying to do is something else. Let me just go ahead and do this. And then I'm going to activate my effect again. And then I can target another monster. My other Soul Absorbing Bone Tower. We're all going to be level 4. I'm going to discard... Well, Red Eye Zombie Dragon would be cool to summon, but since I didn't get my Zombie World, it doesn't work out in this situation. I really needed my zombie world. And then I'm going to attempt to get my Mizuki out. And with Mizuki, I can bring out, say, Necroface. Yeah. I'm going to bring out Necroface. Not like it matters. I just need to bring out a zombie monster after all. Okay. Then we could do our effect again. 
How many cards do they got left? 15? Uh, I can't really do 15. Not unless I can find a way to remove from play Necroface. You know what? There is a way I can do it. It's just, it's really risky. Okay, because there's another Necroface in my deck. So what I do is I go for that Chaos Dragon card I have. This one. Even though it's not a zombie and I won't be able to discard anything. If I go for this... Or I can go for Vendred and throw away... Okay, so if I go for Vendred, I'm going to be able to throw away one card. But if I do this, I'm going to lose some life points, which will be fine. We don't care about life points right now. So if I do this, I can throw away one more Mizuki. It'll be eight cards gone in total. Unless there's something else I can pull off. What's in my graveyard? Eight cards. I could go with... None of these will give me another one. So, you know what? I'm just going to do something else, which eight cards probably was the better choice, but screw it. I'm going to summon my Chaos Dragon, and we're just going to hope that we can throw away a, Go a Gozuki. If we throw away a Gozuki, then this was a good play. If we fail to throw away a Gozuki, then damn. And again, this doesn't work because we didn't get Zombie World. With Zombie World, this would have been way better. Well, let's see what happens. Alright, so let me get my effect off. This is the most important part. I have to get my effect off. If I don't, this is a failure. Okay, my last bone tower's there. Paladin's there. Uh, that guy's there. Come on, Gwaris. Come on, Gozuki! Oh my god, I didn't get a single Gozuki. That is a shame. That is a super big shame. Gozuki was my only hope, and I did not pull it. Um, I guess I can add a card to my hand. Which one? <sighs> Heartbreaking. Heart freaking breaking. I'll get a Soul Absorbing Bone Tower, I guess. Let's just throw everything else away. And yes, that is super, super sad that I couldn't even get it. I'll just summon a third Soul Absorbing Bone Tower. I was really hoping on Gozuki. There's three left in my deck, and I didn't even get it. Okay. Let's just go for battle. Um, oh, he can't battle this turn. That's fine. As long as uh, I don't take too much damage, it's fine. Welp, that didn't work out. <laughs> and if I'm assuming Xander can find a way to pop two or bounce two monsters, so. Because they now have to get rid of two of these. Ah, all of this. If I just started with Zombie World or Terraforming, I could have I could have won the duel this far, uh, this, uh, at this point. Unless they had a card that pops spell cards. We don't even know. All right, battle phase immediately. Does that mean they don't have a monster that could pop me and they're just going to do like some damage to my Chaos Ruler card? Because if that's the case, they're in a little bit of trouble. Because killing my Chaos Ruler is actually part of my discard strategy. Even though he's not a zombie yet. So that card is definitely going to gain 1,200 attack. Yeah. Yep. All right. Oh, does that card let you do the double damage? Was that the double? Wait. Oh, wait. No, look it. He hit this card. No. Okay, I still have a bone tower left, thankfully. Thankfully, I still... Oh, no. They got another one. He's going to find a way to pop it. Oh, no. He totally is going to find a way to pop it on, on main phase. Oh, well. At least it's not during battle phase. I can't lose this turn. Oh, God. There it is. Just waiting for me. Okay, I cannot battle him. That's my thing. I cannot battle a dark spellcaster. That is my thing. All right. Heart of the cards, everybody. Destiny draw. Part of it. Whoa, wait. That could really work. Unless they have a... Well, you know what? They could have had a cherry blossom this whole time. I activate Pot of Extravagance. I need to draw some new cards. All right. Ah, shit. <laughs> Not the best cards. But, like I said, the light and darkness thing. I, I wanted Zombie World so badly. Or at least a Gozuki. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get our light and darkness dragon ready. Because this could get us uh, this can get us another Necroface. I'm going to throw away my Paladin. And I'm going to throw away my Necroface. And this monster will be summoned in attack mode. I just can't. Uh, I mean, no matter what, I'm going to lose a Bone Tower. There we go. Necroface activates. I got to hope I get a double a Necroface. Come on, Necroface. I hit, uh, that, now I hit Gozuki. One Gozuki. I didn't hit double Necroface. That's a shame. All right. Well, I'm running out of options here. Um, how many cards do they have left? They have four cards left in their deck. If I could have summoned Zoma Spirit, maybe this would have been an option. What is my special summon? What's left? Vendred, I would take both my zombie monsters. That is a damn shame. 
If this had gone a different way, I could have won. Alright, go into defense mode. I guess um, I could attack this guy. Alright, I guess I can attack this guy. I won't be able to win this duel, guys. Without Soul Absorb and Bone Tower, I won't be able to win this one. Um, let's see. As long as I'm not attacking a Dark Spellcaster monster, I should be fine. Alright. I'm going to attack this guy. Damn, I could have won this if I just had the freaking card. I, I just had the card I was looking for. So, obviously, this duel is about to end. I can't win with Zoma Spirit because this card doesn't deck them out. It, it will deck them out, but what I'm saying is it won't make them lose by deck out. They'd have to wait a whole turn to lose. So that's a shame. Unless they somehow don't kill me this turn. But when this card activates, activates its effect, I do die. Especially since the piercing damage will begin. So let's just assume he's going to go into battle phase soon. And I'll make the duel look close, but I already knew what I already knew what was gonna happen. Xander, I really enjoyed this duel. I want you to know that. Oh, perfect. I believe I still get the special summon off, so that's all that matters. Once I hit the special summon, then that's okay. The rest of it doesn't matter. There's no way to survive this duel now. I lost. Especially since that fusion monster lets them all do piercing damage. Once returned, you can target one monster on the... Oh, it lets one of them do piercing damage. I guess that's good. So yeah, if they don't win this turn, then that's amazing. I can't believe it. I, I made a comeback. But the way this goes, he attacks. He pops. He destroys him. These monsters get bu a debuffed or buffed. I can't remember. This guy targets himself, I guess. Does piercing damage. This guy attacks directly for game. And that should be enough damage. Not to mention, this guy can quick summon. And there's still the pendulum summon, yeah. But even with the field they already had, it seemed like it was game. Alright, battle phase. This is it. The end of the duel. Wow, this guy's got a lot of different types I just noticed. Look at this. We got a wind monster, a dark monster, dark, dark, light. Xander, I'm going to give you a subscriber rating of a strong... I'm going to give you a strong, let's say, six. I can't tell if that's good or not, but I think that you're a six. And here we go. We're going to summon a big monster if all those cards are gone. Oh, it's the same one. Okay. Well, now you can do double piercing damage. But like I said, once you use your dark... Wait, where's your dark spellcaster? Is this one dark... That's a it's dragon. Oh, they're probably going to summon an our, our dark spellcaster because this plan doesn't work unless they have a dark spellcaster. They have even done their normal summon, right? So the one they have in their hand, this card, they're just going to summon this one. Because this plan does not work unless they get rid of purple poison to pop my uh, bone eating uh, soul tower. Oh, plus this card can gain an effect. Alright, so you target your own card's effect. That's interesting. So you're about to do 3,000 burn to me. That's what that card's going to do. And here we go, everybody. The game-winning attack. Well, not that one, but it will... The, with the game-winning attack... Wait. Yeah, you never got a Dark Spellcaster. Don't you lose because of that? Or am I wrong? Didn't you need a Dark Spellcaster to win this duel? Oh, you lost. Alright, well, they could have... I swear they could have won. I think Xander's just being nice. There's like a zero... There's a zero percent reason for not winning this duel. Alright, and I just end my turn. And I win by deck out. Okay, whatever. If they want to throw, they could throw. And there we go. Opponent ran out of cards and could not draw. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and say thanks for the duel. And I'm going to move on. 
So, guys, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.